Gentlemen, I do not want to make a long speech today, but this is an historic occasion, and it would not be proper that it should pass without some word from me. Today, the Prime Minister of Burma and I are signing a treaty to regulate the matters arising out of the transfer of power from Great Britain to Burma, proposals for which we are about to submit to Parliament. The treaty has been freely negotiated between our governments <coughs> as between equals. It records the full agreement we've reached on the matters which it covers. It will be the basis of our future relations. This is, I believe, a unique occasion for the treaties being signed in anticipation of a transfer of sovereignty which has not resulted from the exercise or the threat of force. It's a voluntary transfer, subject, as the free negotiation of this treaty shows, to no conditions. <coughs> and it will take place in circumstances of greatest amity and mutual understanding. The Constituent Assembly, representing the people of Burma, have decided that Burma's future as an independent country should lie outside the British Commonwealth. We're sorry to think that our long association with Burma as a member of the Commonwealth should now be ending, but this is a matter which is for the decision of the people of Burma, and we accept their decision. We know that it's taken in no spirit of hostility or unfriendliness. We're glad indeed to think that the conclusion of the treaty which is being signed this morning shows that the bonds of friendship between our two countries are as strong as ever. And we're confident with the passage of time, mutual respect and community of interest will ensure the continuance of the cordial friendship and good understanding <coughs> which so happily mark relations between us today. In the handling of the great tasks that lie before them, the government of Burma, under their distinguished leader, whom we're so glad to have with us this morning, yeah, 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 yeah. and the people of Burma, will go forward with the sincere good wishes of the government and the people of this country for their advancement, prosperity and happiness as an independent state. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I for settlement in connection with the impending transfer of power. What both sides have sought, and I believe have achieved, is nothing less than arrangements which will form a firm and solid basis for anglo burmese friendship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is true that relations between our two countries were in the past not as happy as they are today. But I wish to say very honestly that even in those days when we had to strive against Britain, our admiration for the British people and our appreciation of their greatness as champions of human rights and as leaders in the fields of science and literature was always very high.